Hey, what's up YouTube? This is going to be my part two video on replacing the digital battery voltmeter. On part one, I actually installed a karaoke replacement just below the handlebars on my previous generation Honda Goldwing. In this part two, I'm going to install this digital voltmeter to replace the voltmeter that's located behind the speaker grill. That voltmeter is no longer working. I actually picked up this voltmeter online and it works really well. I've had it installed on my 2021 DCT Honda Goldwing and I've never had an issue with it. So I picked up an additional one to install on this Honda Goldwing. So stay tuned to the video. We're gonna take a look at this digital voltmeter and then I'm going to install it on the previous generation Honda Goldwing. So let's get started. I will include in the description of the video a quick link of where you can pick up this digital voltmeter for your motorcycle. And it's universal, so it will fit on your Honda Goldwing, a Harley Davidson, a Kawasaki, a Can-Am Spider. Regardless of what type of motorcycle you have, this digital voltmeter will work for your application. So let's take a closer look at this digital voltmeter. I'm going to peel the tape. And this particular digital volt meter came with two sided tape. Peel and stick. You can place that where you want to on your motorcycle. The installation is very simple. If you're going to be installing this on your Honda Goldwing, uh, all you need is a power source. A great power source would be in the fuse box located to the left of the battery. You can connect the black to the negative and the red to the positive. It's real simple. You don't want to connect it straight to the battery because the voltage gauge will remain on at all times. So you don't want to run down your battery. You want to make sure you hook this to a keyed source. So I'm going to remove the twisted tie. I'm going to I'm just going to splice and expose the wires. And I just want to verify that this works. And I'm going to test this by connecting my alligator clips. One is on the negative. And we got red for the positive. So as you can see, so why is it important to have a battery voltage gauge on your motorcycle? You need to know if your alternator is putting out the proper volts and you need to know if the alternator fails that is running off of your battery. And also for some of you guys that like to listen to your radios and things like that when the bike is parked, it's good to have a battery voltage gauge just to let you know the volts in your battery because you do not want to run down your battery after playing your radio and then you can't crank your motorcycle. So I verified that this thing actually works and all we have to do now is get it installed on the Honda Going. We're going to use the same wiring from the digital battery voltage gauge behind the speaker grill. We're going to tap into that wiring that way I don't I don't have to run wiring all the way down to the fuse panel. Sometimes it comes on, sometimes it doesn't. I know it's getting power to this battery voltage meter. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm gonna turn on the ignition just to see if it turns on. It's working and then it'll cut off. So as you can see, it just cut off. So. 
I'm going to change out this thing with the replacement battery voltage gauge that I picked up for this Honda Goldwing. So to remove the speaker grill, I'm going to just reach up. Just going to pop this out. kind of pull that away I just want to gain access to the wiring that's behind this voltage meter just gonna reach in and pull this going to pull this voltage meter out. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to take my little hook tool. I just want to peel this wiring back. Here is a plug. probably send this back under warranty so I want to use this plug I'm gonna use this plug I'm gonna peel this back so peel that back open it up to cut those ends Cut that positive and cut that negative. And now I can use this plug to connect the replacement battery voltage meter. I'm going to take these soldering connections. These things really come in handy when you want to solder some wiring. So next I'm going to take my soldering connections. I'm going to tie one end to the negative. And now I want to sort of that connector onto the wiring. And we're going to do the same to the positive. I just tie those together.
and we're going to just slide it down and I'm just going to melt that connector onto the wiring these things work really well It's going to put an airtight seal on the connectors. And now we can plug this in and see if it powers on. Okay, now I can take my connector and I'm going to plug it in. Just to verify that everything works before I get everything put back, we're going to turn on the key. So I'm going to turn on the key just to make sure that it works. Crank up the bike. Give it a second, it'll go up to 13, 14.4 volts. So the alternator is working. Turn off the key. And I just want to verify that this actually works before I put everything back. So it looks like the best place for this digital display would be probably right in front of the, the cup holder. Going to take a little bit of alcohol just to clean off the the surface. So I'm going to clean that off. I'm going to peel the two sided tape and I'm going to center that just over the gold wing. So next I just have to run the wiring. Just gonna lift up on the shelter. Just gonna put this underneath. Just tuck this wiring. the panel snap this in Now I have the speaker grill put back on the on the go wing. Now let's crank up the bike. Turn on the ignition. Shows my battery volts. When I crank up the bike, it should show the alternator charging here in just a few seconds after starting the bike. I'm gonna give it a few seconds, it's gonna go up to 14. One of the questions that I got is on the Karayakin voltage gauge. One of the questions was, is the display going to be bright? Is it going to mess with my eyes? Um, no, the way it sits below the handlebars is an excellent spot. So when you're riding, when you're sitting in the cockpit, you're not going to have a glare or anything 
no more than the glare from the GPS, the display screen, or either the speedometer gauges. So when I turn on the bike, crank up the bike, and now I can see my voltage, and I can see if the alternator starts charging shortly after I crank up the bike when I'm riding. So, I hope this video helps some of you guys out that might have been considering putting a battery voltage gauge on your motorcycle. It doesn't matter if you use a digital or you can use the karaoke and analog as long as you have some type of gauge on your bike to tell you if your battery is low or if your alternator is charging. I will include in the description of the video a link to where you can pick up both battery voltage gauges that I'm using here in this video. If you guys like this video, you can click the like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you a little bit later out here in the Caliente Garage. Tell them that I ain't so crack. Now your money long, where your people came for that. I'm